a lot of times it's uh, good to take a negative thing and make it a positive, and that's what I've done with my back problems here these last few weeks. I've been on the phone here in the old Dugster Diary studio talking to folks that I used to talk to back in the old Dugster Diary studio. Danny Creedon is one of those guys. I got to know Danny a long time ago. We've had a lot of conversations about a lot of things over the years. Currently 59 races into his 2022 season. Estimates are just a little bit over 12, 15 more races to go. Three wins. Two of those were at Accord, and he is very busy. Orange County Fair Speedway is winding down there season. He's leading the points at Accord. Third in the Short Track Super Series North. Ninth in the Elite. And he's waiting on something to come from an engine builder. So let's head him down to Middleton. Danny Creed is just getting ready to get into the shop here uh, almost 8 o'clock on Tuesday night. How the heck have you been, man? It's been too long. It's been way too long, Doug. Uh, I don't get to see that much up in the northern country. I About Binghamton and Thunder Mountain is about my limit. Mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> it's been a while. And his one trip to Thunder Mountain was a winning trip, too. So uh, it was well worth the drive up for him. So let me see. I think the term you used when we talked just a second ago was great year. Really great. Yeah, I mean, I, I, great year so far. We're definitely uh, stepped up our big block program, so we have a good piece of Middletown. Uh, we're going to do some traveling with that end of the year here. And uh, I got, actually I got two big blocks now, from no big blocks to two big blocks. Wow. So two big blocks. And uh, got two open small blocks now. Got another new one on the way. Hopefully, um, I think Danny said that uh, Bedell will be, it'll be done this week or beginning of next week, which would be good because we can slide that in and go to Utica for that elite deal. All and right. then uh, we still got our we still got our one spec head. So uh, I like to see a couple more wins, but you know we're consistent. And at the end of that, or the, the, for the top twelve deal at Middletown, we were leading the points. So uh, and we're third in the small block there. So I mean, yeah, all in all, a great year. And when do they wrap up? Because they did that elimination thing kind of like NASCAR. When's their final points race? Is it this week, next week? So this week we race for the final four, and then next week is the end of, end of points. I believe what's at the 27th or something like that. So next Saturday, a week from this Saturday, is getting the points for us. Oh, week before the actual Labor Day itself. So, okay. Yeah. So uh, obviously things are going well at Accord. You're at the top of the points, a couple of wins. What has to happen to keep you there? And how much longer are they going? Uh, I believe there's three. We race Friday. Mm-hmm. I believe we're off next Saturday. We got a monster truck show or oh. something like that. I think it's monster truck show. And then we race the following two weeks. So I want to say it's, it's the week of the 11th, 13th or something like that. And yeah, that's if it's it a Friday, there. that would be the 9th. So, yeah. A 9th. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's that. And then, uh, realistically, I mean, as long as we keep our nose clean and, and then just keep rolling, I like, I like to poke one, at least one or two more wins out of there. we we got a great car just to... The tire battle is a little little tricky. You know, we used to bolt new right rears on all the time, and now we're trying to use a right rear two weeks, maybe three weeks. And so you got to pick and choose your battle when you stick a new right rear tire on. You know? What do you? So, what do they uh, run down there for tires? The best tire ever, American Racers. Okay. What, do you have a suggestion <laughs> on the compound, uh, or can you mix and match? You can mix and match. Yeah, it's forty eight or harder right rear, forty four oh, harder. Forty eight. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty hard. I mean, Accord's banked. They, they, I, I. Tell you, I I love the place, but I keep telling Gary, I cut some of the banking out of it, you know, make some good racing again. Right now, if it gets you know, if it gets up top, you just rim ride this place. I mean, we're ripping, you know, 13 twos, 13 Whoa. threes, and a feature. And so, in I a mean, feature? And, and you're wow. And a feature. That's yeah, we're, we're <laughs> under 13 seconds in warm ups. You know, if you're, you're wow. 12, 8, 12, 9s in warm ups. So, you know, but the sail panels and the big motors and the big doors, and you're just wide open for mm-hmm. the most part. So, you're just punishing the right rear tire pretty hard. Do you beat it up a little in the heat, even too? Yeah, we run a forty-eight in heat, and uh, it gets they, they get pretty warm. They're good to uh, I, I use Accord heat racing to heat cycle a tire, like if we're going a five mile or a Utica or something. So, it gets a good heat cycle in it, you know. And what's the harder one? Is it a fifty-two? There's a fifty-three and a fifty-three. 50. Okay, and we yeah, never use those. 50, uh, oh yeah, fifty is actually harder than a fifty-three. So. Uh, Shouldn't be, should it? I, I thought the 53 would be harder. Usually the number goes up, I, it gets harder, right? I don't know what happened there, but I think they had a 50 already, but then they had a late model tire that was like a 49. Only certain people, this, I'm going back, you know, yeah. five, six, seven years ago. It was a 49, but it was a late model compound, and not everybody could get it, so I think that's why they went to a 53 instead of, a, instead of like a 49 or a 50. So it's 50, and actually 53 is a little bit softer, and it's a little bit different rubber than uh, 50. I think 50 is a synthetic rubber. And uh, 53 oh. is a natural rubber. Was it a block tire? No, no, it's still chain link tires. Oh, chain link. Tires. I guess I thought yeah. all late model tires were block tires. No, oh, that, that 49. No, that 49 was a chain link tire also. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah. they still they still make them on the on the late model stuff. 
Yeah, I remember they had an open tire rule at a mod race a while back, and they forgot to mention that no block tires were allowed, and the only guy who had a block tire ended up winning. <laughs> that night, so. uh, I tell you what, I wish you could go with block tread tires. That would be awesome. Why? Middletown did it. Middle, well, they just they race better, and then uh, you can actually get a blank. I think you can get a blank Hoosier and American race. You can do your own pattern to it. Really? Um, yeah, I think the block tread tires, they, they last a little bit longer. They don't have as many grooves and cuts into them, right. so... Uh, you had to do a lot more siping and prepping to these Hoosiers to run the slippery stuff than I think you had to do on a block tread tire. And I want to make sure you guys know what we're talking about. If you actually look at a modified tire, it actually looks like there's little S's uh, through the tread, where the block tire is just like it looks like up one way, up another. It looks like little squares on there is basically what it looks like. So that's easier to prep because of the pattern? Yeah, I mean, you don't need as much. It's a bigger block, so you've got more straight sipes than uh you know, it, it, it'll be, with the pattern being straighter, you get good cross grip and good forward grip. Interesting. All right. See, hope you guys learned something from that, because I learned about it a few years ago myself, and I guess I never really was in a situation where I, I got to see that. How we doing with the Short Track Super Series? Sounds like the uh, Elite, we could use a little work, but uh, we're good. Oh, we lost him for a second. We lost Dan for just a second, but nice thing with this old uh, digital recorder is it has a pause function on it where I can just pick it right back up. So we were talking about tires, and we were just switching over to the Short Track Trooper Series. You got a shot in the North Division? You're third right now. Um, we need Shepard to have a bad night, which Matt is on top Doesn't of the like team. Never had a bad <laughs> no, no. I mean, listen, for the, the, the budget and, the, and what the equipment that we have and uh, our motor programs, we're sitting third. <laughs> they were, uh, you know, actually, as we were just talking about Matt Shepard, Dennis just said, Matt, just take one for the pole tonight. So oh, um, we need them guys to, to have a bad night or two, which I don't want to see anybody have a bad night. But, um, you know, we're sitting third, and for what we bring to the table, I'm super happy with it. I think we had a fourth at Fonda, and, I mean, I don't go good at Fonda, so no. we're really good there. And then uh, Middletown, we've got a fourth there. So anytime you can finish in the top five with you know, them guys, it, it's really a good deal. Okay. So as far as the rest of the year after Labor Day, what are the? we are definitely running these shows. What's on that list? Um, on that list. I think we're talking about going to Woodhall. I think the 10th. Really? They're paying 2500 I like to go to Woodhall. I like to get out there. It's fun it's track, kind of I would imagine. Yeah, it's like Accord, you know, so it, it's pretty cool. I just... I was, it kind of stinks that Dale didn't get out there for this year, but, you know, he, he's busy, too, with everything he has going on. So. Going on. Um, Woodhull, I think Outlaw had a two-day weekend coming up there. I oh, yeah, they always the have that one, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't make the Friday night. I got a wedding. Uh kid used to work on my race car. He's getting married, so he's nice. either be there or it might be Malta for the dirt show. It depends uh, how much partying we do that night. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's be realistic, yeah. right? It is a wedding. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, with Accor being off next week, we're going to go to Utica because I flat sucked um, oh. <laughs> the last day I'll race up there. So I haven't been there since my sportsman days. Um, so i got to get back up there and hopefully a new engine will be done so we can we can shake that down and be good. And then, um, you know, obviously the Eastern States, and I think there's three or four, there's a Port Royal, there's a Fonda 200, oh, and – um, there's one more elite race. I think Utica Rome's an elite race. Oh, and then we got Middletown Day of Race. Um, probably Afton. Probably no Super Dirt Week. Just um, time wise, work, busy, crew. You know, the whole well, night. It's a lot, especially with three and a half hours away from where you are. So yeah, yep. a lot of other yep. costs then, associated uh, with that. Absolutely. I mean, just trying to get everybody together is yeah. a tough deal. You know, I mean, I got all volunteers. I mean, it's just trying to drag everybody up out of work and take weeks off and they do that and then um, well, it's tough let's be honest we only got about a little under a minute left it's tough for a guy like you who gets up at 4 30 in the morning uh to compete with the guys you know the peter Brittons, the matt shepherds the Stuart friesens who are professional race car drivers even the um oh gee i was trying to think of another one here anthony perego it's gotta be tough yep and answer answer professional you know i mean my alarm goes off at 4 30 and i walked out of the shop here um anywhere from 10 to 11 o'clock every night so if I get if I get six hours of sleep a night, I'm happy, you know. But with Sadie, the go kart and, and the karate and the softball and all the other stuff going on, just uh, you got to be a dad too, man. So it's, it's just it's tough. That's that's like I said. That's why we didn't go up this week. Just trying to trying to get the time off. And the time is up for us here. By the way, we'll get back with Danny soon. Good catching up with you again, man. Seriously, and uh, let's make sure we do this again very soon. Okay, man. 
Absolutely. Hope I kept your way so we can do it in video. I know. Let's hit that bluey, guys. Keep subscribing, and we're going to keep busy. Even though we're sitting at home hurting, we're still going to get new content up for you every day.